Daniel Bryan, Elite 38 figure. This figure is pretty cool. Check out this review and unboxing to find out why. So here is the packaging of Daniel Bryan. And you can see it includes his ES t-shirt. If that wasn't already very obvious from the initial video that started off the segment, there is a picture of him looking a bit angry, but on the back he looks more like his jolly self, Daniel Bryan, a very jolly man. And this attire is from Raw on May 5th. 2014. Let me know if you were at that show. Let's do the unboxing, baby! Let's do it right. So, if you're upset that this is yet another Daniel Bryan Elite, because we've gotten a few, let me know in the comments and spark the discussion, the debate. This one comes with his Yes shirt. Although he's had many Yes shirts, this is one that kind of looks like the Shepherd Fairy Andrew the Giant shirt. That says, like, obey or something. Here is Mr. Daniel Bryan. First things first, as opposed to second things first, I'm going to say that this is one of the coolest Daniel Bryan attires we have for an elite. This looks awesome. I just love the detail and kind of like the... Uh, snake skin effect that they got. Maybe it's dragon scale effect because Daniel Bryan is the American dragon. If if you didn't know, I'm I'm reading his book right now entitled uh, Yes, um, and he's talking about how he was once a dragon. Uh, so let me know if you're a big fan of dragons in the comments. Spark another discussion, another debate. But this is a pretty good figure. We have had a few Daniel Bryan elites. But this could be my favorite. The face, they really can't handle. Daniel Bryan faces for some reason. I don't know why. And this one kind of joins the rest as kind of just being like nearly there. You can kind of see Daniel Bryan in it, but it's not perfect. Although I think the paint is a lot better than the other Daniel Bryan paint jobs we've seen in the past. I wish they just have his face molded in the color of his skin and then paint the hair because this guy has like primarily beard but hey like Seth Rollins figures and stuff do too long hair and stuff so I don't know why they do that with Daniel Bryan let's throw the shirt on cloth shirt thank goodness although sometimes cloth shirts do look a bit odd wearing the shirt he looks very fancy like a very fancy dude do you think we'll ever get like a, 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 like remember when Kmart did that John Cena figure where it had his hands doing like this? Oh, can you even see that? Do you think we'll ever get like a Kmart version of Daniel Bryan where he's doing his yes hands? Because I feel like that's kind of necessary. Or in the future, if they can, Mattel could actually just give us replaceable hands, swappable hands, because I think that's something that we should be seeing in the future. This is 2015, and considering we don't have that yet, it's a bit shocking, like Shockmaster. So personally, overall, I'd say that this van. So, so overall, I'd say that this Daniel Bryan figure is relatively good. It's not the greatest because they still can't get the face down perfectly, and I don't really see Daniel Bryan in it. Let me know if you do in the comments. But I think the inclusion of a fabric shirt is very nice, although it's not really a shirt that I kind of equate that I link up to this Daniel Bryan. I would, I personally think the Respect the Beard shirt is a lot more iconographic than this, yes, influenced by the Obey, um, but that's just my opinion. That's what you do in our reviews. So yes, I think Mattel could have done a better job on this, but uh, I think the attire is great. Just find a better face. Give me the Respect the Beard shirt as a cloth shirt. And yo, Mattel, you've hit a home run, baby. Woo. Click this video if you liked the last one you just saw. Elite 38. <laughs> I'm just really sick, guys. Just kidding. Just kidding. Dan!